So on top of that kind of disconnection is also the very harsh reality that we are damaging our environment massively and um, there's huge degradation and we see it every day. You know, we see rubbish in rivers, we see images on TV, we hear about climate change, we see the rainforest being cut down. So this thing which we're deeply connected to is also being steadily destroyed. And, um, and yet, when we talk about it being destroyed, we talk about it usually in very remote terms. We talk about, you know, the number of football pitches per day of rainforest that have been cut down, or, or we talk about carbon. We talk, so, you know, we talk a lot about different gases that are in the atmosphere, and those are all quite abstract things. Um, and in a way, maybe that's one reason why the idea of climate change hasn't created a mass movement or hasn't, um, hasn't really affected people in a way that, that, that we managed to do anything about it, because they're all, they're all very abstract concepts, carbon and the atmosphere. Um, and it's rare that we actually talk about our feelings about the destruction of nature. Again, that's kind of not accepted. It's not. It's not valued by a contemporary society to say, actually, you know, actually that's quite painful. Or actually, when when I think about how things used to be when I was a child, I feel quite sad. So uh, another thing that psychologists might say is that we need to actually feel the damage that we that we're doing to nature in order to be able to engage with it, know what it is, and then be able to to take the necessary action to change it. Um,